the waterproof liner gloves from Outdoor Research. Super, super nice. I used to have a pair of seal skin gloves that I, of course, lost some time ago. And I needed a waterproof liner glove that keeps my hands warm, but it's not too thick, but I can still get in snow and rainy conditions that keeps my fingers warm. So these are actually a great replacement for what I've lost. Why would you want to consider these? For one, well, they're waterproof. I'll show you that in a minute. Plus they're windproof, and man, my hands are getting steamy warm already. It's 68 degrees in my studio are about 28 or 20 degrees Celsius, and they're too warm for these conditions. So that's something to consider as, oh, if it's a touch chilly, you put your hands in these things, you're going to get moisturized. In fact, wow, they're incredible. Now, because of the temperature and the difference in here, they're supposed to be breathable, but one of the things about breathable clothing like Gore-Tex and Event and everything, you have to have a certain vapor barrier pressure for the steam to come out on them. But that's not the whole point. The whole point is these can take a downpour. I'll put them in the sink just to give you an idea of what they're like. Now they do have the sensor touch pads on here. And theoretically they're supposed to work. But I found, uh, come on. Sometimes yes. So, oh, what? Yeah, there we go. If I touch it just right. It works okay, but it's not super optimal. But when you've got this type of waterproof glove, chances are, unless you're in the snow and it's raining, you're not going to be able to manage your phone anyway. But once you get just the right position, it works pretty well. So that's actually pretty nice. Now these guys, let me show you how long they are. Now I have a standard size hand and I purchased the large size. But as you can see here, they're about 10 inches long which is 25 centimeters long. So they cover your wrist completely. They also have these pull loops here, which are really nice. But also if you need to hang your gloves up, you can hang them up just fine. The, you can see the large size in here. Here's the size of my hands. But one of the things is this inner liner stuff is a little bit crinkly and irritating. So that's something you might want to consider is once you get the glove, you make sure they fit okay is to maybe slash that out and ditch it. Now one of the things with my particular hand size is the fingers fit perfectly, but the thumb still has this little tip on it. Now that doesn't mean that I'm going to go back to the store and get the medium size because the medium size will cause me to have this little webbing pinch here which is irritating. I've had gloves you know, with a little thumb thing and I don't really care because I don't have to have great dexterity in my thumb. My thumb is just for grabbing and things like that. It's not like I'm keyboarding or typing my missive. Also, let's see how much these guys weigh because weight is a concern. They're definitely ooh, kind of spongy like the PL150 liners. Let's see how much these weigh. Mm, Kiroki. These gloves are 2.9 ounces or 82 grams. Not terribly heavy, not ultra light, but getting a waterproof liner that you can use in literally running water. Boy, this is really, really nice. So definitely can't recommend these enough if you need a waterproof liner that gives you quite a bit of warmth because they pretty much seal in your hands other than the uh, theoretical breathability. They don't allow your watch to get really under there, but if you flip to military style on your watch there, it works pretty well. Uh, that's about all there is to it. Let me show you what they're like under the sink. Here we go with the waterproof liner gloves. Let's get a raging torrent and see how that works. Not bad. Don't feel any water coming through. We'll do the same thing. And okay. shut that off and then let me take the glove off. Okay, and my hand appears to be completely dry. Not too bad. These, uh, these waterproof liner gloves are pretty sweet. You can see the outer shell definitely collects a little bit of water but it turns, does not penetrate the inner membrane. So I would say a total winner with these waterproof liner gloves. 
As you can see, no problems with water repellency. The surface does have a little bit of moisture, but that moisture again never got through to my hands. So I cannot complain about these waterproof liner gloves from Outdoor Research. By the way, I bought these with my own money, disclosure. I don't get these as gifts or in kind material. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books. Antarctic Tears Lost at Winnie Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.